back here again. Will we see a train this time or will we not? Oh, they've done a good job of decorating this spot, making it all patriotic and everything. And we've seen a person come in and vote already, so we're talking about election security. is my favorite snack so I'm gonna search for a popcorn popper I've decided to have lunch mm, beans well let me tell ya HIV doesn't have it so let me try wall fart before I give up before I do that I'm gonna get some gas for this car at the, the cheap gas station over here Uh, never simple. Wall fart. Same old answer. They will gladly let me go online to buy it. And I'm like, well, if I can go online, why did I even leave the house? They can't carry a million of them on the shelf and move a, all million of them in a day. They don't want to carry it. So, retail is worthless these days because they just give so much to the internet. And it's uh, incredibly inconvenient, waste of time. And I pretty much thought it would be anyway. But, you know, speaking of wasting time, I got to go get some some of my medicine that's another long story insurance having to deal with an insurance company and they don't want to, they don't want to buy they don't want to provide you any service they, they want to take your money they don't want to provide you any service when you need it so i gotta go get my medicine i've been waiting weeks for insurance doesn't want to get it without a big fight and every every time it's up for renewal. I gotta fight the insurance company. It's not worth it. But they got you by the balls, so. Errands, errands, errands. You think I get to sleep after work? And all this is just on the way home. They don't have it. They're out of stock. So now they're sending me to another CVS location that hopefully will have it. So, ugh. There's no drive through here. I have to walk in. I'm not looking forward to the line. The line. 
Well, this is the kind of service that we would expect to get in Mother Russia, not here. This is my second store and they told me to uh, that the even though it's sitting in the back in their fridge they even went and checked on it and they found it they told me that it'd take a half an hour so i gave them more than a half an hour with it, i it's been about an hour and uh i went through the line again of course you have to wait in their line and at the end of the line, he tells me, it's not ready yet. I'm like, what? Not ready? He said it was going to be ready in a half an hour. Oh, we've been super busy. Sorry. Is there a number we can call when we get it? It's been nothing but a hassle. And this is uh, medication that people need to live. And you just get taken advantage of. And, you know, when we had the whole debate about nationalization of medical services and how awful things are in Europe and England and everything uh, with national health care, and we're so much better off with, like, privatized health care, I'm wondering how. I don't think we're better off. I think we're much worse off. I think we get exploited. And I think there's no accountability in the health system. You have drug companies that charge anything they want. And most people can't afford it. Insurance companies that don't want to pay for it. They want to tell you that life-saving medicine that you need is elective. And they're not going to pay for it. And if you try to pay for it, it's more than the mortgage for your house. So what are you going to do? Sell your house and not eat so you can have medicine? I tell you what most people do, they just give up and they don't ha take their medicine. And they end up dying. And, you know, and I think it's very shallow when you hear people argue, use it as political fodder. Oh, well, you know, we got death panels and, and this and that and the other thing that, you know, your grandma's life is being determined by a board of people who are saying, I like, well, our lives are being determined by a board of people who don't care about anything but money. And there's nobody stopping them from exploiting us. And it's ridiculous. So, you know, it's kind of like <clears throat> crops rotting in a field because nobody can figure out how to make a profit off of getting the crops to people who need it and uh, and that should not be and it's the same with medicine medicine is is available but unaffordable to the people who need it because we can't figure out how to make a a killing off of it oh well I'm I'm so tired. I'm I'm ready to say it. No, I don't need this medicine. I'll just die. Because I can't spend my whole life waiting in lines and uh and jumping through hoops and filling out forms and arguing with insurance companies. It, it's just not worth it. It's not quality of life. And it's not that I don't have a quality of life or can't have a quality of life. It's all bureaucracy and money and greed hey how you doing did another election live shot <clears throat> this time at the Kent City Board of Elections and uh, got my earpiece in listening to the scanner and we'll have some coffee now so
see about doing some early voting, but I don't know. Look at the line. Jeez. I voted. Look at the line. <coughs> pretty the square is it's like they're getting ready for Christmas already Clay County Election Office. I think this is it right here. We're here at the Clay County Election Office. And uh, we're doing another election story, of course. And I remember coming here in 2008 and voting for some reason. You remember that election? This is a uh, mid-century modern building. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas before Halloween. Uh, here on the amazing Liberty Town Square. And look how pretty it all is, especially in the sunrise early in the morning when things are pretty quiet still. I think I'm gonna try a different place. I'm hungry. I'm gonna have some breakfast. Get another look at the town square here. It's so pretty. Let's give this place a try. We're on the drink this morning. We are sassified. Yep, still pretty. And taking in the fall colors, I think they're peaking now. Here in the downtown Liberty with all this traffic it's like it must be the city workers or university people coming to work and yeah it's a very very beautiful setting Maybe we'll go into <clears throat> the neighborhood a little to catch some of the colors. Don't run over people. Yeah, 
Yeah, very, very pretty, especially with the all the multicolors. And in about a month, it'll be all gray looking. <laughs> all the leaves will have fallen off the trees. And it looks like here we are coming up here. To our voting they call it Clay County election it says elections building and the long lines of people early voting let's see maybe we can park over here if this car is leaving All right, as we were leaving town, done with our assignment, the whole fire station next to us emptied out, and I guess this is the reason why. Old apartment building. Pretty bad fire. I don't know if anybody's hurt or anything else like that. You can tell this is a, like a lot of structures in this town are old and historic. A lot of damage. And a huge response. Guys are looking stormy. We had a good morning. We went to a park to meet with an artist who uh, does wood carving, spoons and things like that. But I mean more artistic and decorative than it is a practical pragmatic spoon you would use as well but it's quite interesting and it was good and a little bit of exercise so that's nice Just hope we don't get clobbered here but uh today for the weather coming into martin city by the way but I have to turn here on Warnell. Today for the weather, they're talking about possibly a little bit of severe weather with uh, some gusty winds and a little bit of uh, small hail. So late October, interesting. And over to the west here, you can't really see it that well. There's some... Uh, they call towers coming up and they have a slight tilt to them which means that's a severe marker it means there's wind shear when you have these kind of thunderstorms coming up at an angle I believe they say if it's like a, a 45 degree angle that's a pretty good indication that uh, they're going to be severe or associated with severe weather Exciting. Look at all the fall colors bursting out. Uh, uh, uh. And the bumpy ass roads. Say, camera does not do it justice. I'm on a mission. Yeah, I guess it's to uh, get coffee, maybe. For the past few times, I've said I'm getting coffee, and then I end up getting more tea. I'm liking tea better sometimes these days, but I'm feeling peaked. I guess that means coffee, but tea has just as much or more caffeine than coffee. Oh. I guess it depends on what you desire to have.
Yeah, the weather is supposed to be warm and then thunderstorms possibly on the severe side and then it's supposed to get cool for the weekend. So we shall see and We shall see if there's any parking. Well, there's a spot if I wanted to parallel park. There would be a spot if there wasn't a no parking sign about a mile back. There's a food service truck. And then you go around the corner up here, and all this is paid parking. That's why there's so many spots open. I don't know, if I owned a business, I'd be kind of angry if... Uh, they took the parking away from my business and made it all paid parking. Uh, is this a spot? Yeah, it's a spot. You can tell how happy I am about parallel parking. The cameras have made it easy. Makes it look like you have about a mile of space back there. Let's try this again. And nine. You see how bad I am at parallel parking. <laughs> Anybody watching? Alright, let's do this. Competently. Alright. I talk about how the cameras make it easy and then I screw it up. Hi, hello, Florida. The car in front of me is a Florida license plate. Eh, nine. Turn that thing off. Alrighty then. We're here, we're queer, get used to it. <laughs> nice enough to go without a jacket. Maybe. It has turned into a very warm day. Whew. I've been toying with the idea of doing my ghost hunt. I was supposed to do it last night. Couldn't get out. And I was thinking I'd do it today, but I'm having a stomach problem, so. And look at this mess here on Broadway, downtown. And there's a car chase, and I haven't figured out where yet. Uh, sometimes you look forward to the cooler weather because it cools things down. But I don't know. I don't know about this road destruction. And I think they're about to open up the uh, Buckle O'Neill Bridge. Bridges. It's no longer one bridge anymore. It's like two bridges at least with ramps but before they do that they gotta shut everything down so they can do their final inspections I guess and make sure everything is right because you wouldn't want people running into each other which that might happen if they don't <laughs> I'm sure they plan it better than that but they have to do their last minute things 
Well, anyway, I'm stuck in traffic. I'm trying to get home. We have parent teachers. Oh boy, for the two oldest kids tonight. Fun, fun. Anyway, I'm going home. I'm gonna take a nap before that. Got some wind. Wow. It's really making fall into fall. There go all the leaves. Yep, it's coming through pretty heavy. At least we get some rain, but after this it'll be cool tomorrow. Let's see what some of the storm reports are saying. Large tree blown down. Portion of metal roof blown off convenience store, wow. Huh. Put it in motion a little. Oh, I have 150 frames going. Eh, fine. Yep, there it is, blowing up. And here it comes. Wow. You can hear the the walnuts hitting the roof. The sunroom is loud. That's what alerted me. I was kind of not paying attention. Nine. See what the dragon cam says. Nothing. Let's see what the Burlington cam says. Oh, that's pretty intense there. Wow. Look at that. A lot of lightning there. Maybe I should turn on the double pane. Yeah, that could be a little rotation right there. Anything else? Ours just looks like straight line gust front coming through. All right, well, I'll add more if something happens. Nice day. Moonliner. And clear blue sky. And it's Friday. Mm, we are sassified. Well, let me tell ya. It has been stressful as of late. Well, first off, our uh, I didn't have a reporter this morning. I was live at uh, another election, early election place out in, by Lake Chicomo. And then I did a Vosad on uh, some dogs that have been evacuated from Hurricane Helene that are coming, that have come to KCK and they're trying to adopt them out but to the stress well first off um, our dog Stella is in trouble she while Saya and Luke were walking the dogs Luke had control of Stella and Saya decided she wanted to talk to one of her friends and somehow Stella ended up nipping that friend and the mom has reported us to animal control. Now, 
Luke and Saya say that they told the girl to please stay away from the dogs and she acted like she didn't hear them and then Saya says that the girl was teasing the dog that's why she got nipped and Luke says a little different story that the girl was horsing around next to the dog and stepped on her and that's why she got nipped but either way you know we have to try and argue with a uh, um, KC Pet Project Kansas City's version of animal control that our dog is very docile which she is and um, and she only does something like that in an extreme situation like when somebody is teasing her really bad or when people step on her which is true and uh, you know Stella is getting old and she's very she's very stressed out these days because her her companion dog Jimmy is sick and and blind and she's like really been worried sick about him and so it doesn't take much even though she's a docile dog to get her um, worked up and uh, so I do tend to believe that something happened to get her um, to get her upset uh, something that wasn't um, kosher you know that, that these people Oh, look at this. Road closed, but... Interesting. Where's our sign further down the road? Oh, alright. Well, we gotta turn around and go the other way. This happens a lot in this city. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, so now I'm trying to get a hold of Animal Control, and they're very hard to get a hold of. And I've given them, I've left a message and given them the case number, and, uh, yep, right lane closed. There's another car trying to make it up that street and going to find what we found. So it's very stressful, and... We know that Saya and Luke's part in it was that they went to go talk to that friend and, and uh, Suyen called him in, asked Luke where's Saya the night that it happened and he was like, I don't know, I think he, he's talking to his friend, her friend and we know that Luke knew exactly where she was and they both knew what had happened and they were covering they were trying to cover their tracks. And uh, so Sien called Saya and she didn't say a word about it until the mother came to our door and knocked on our door and was angry and upset, understandably. And uh, we know that the, the kids are to blame because they, you know, the first thing Aunt Sien said to them when they came in, why are you talking to your friend? You know, you need to bring the dogs back home and then ask if it's okay to, to hang out with your friend. And so, yeah, they're feeling pretty low right now about the situation and the kind of trouble they've gotten their dog in. And this isn't the first time that the dogs have paid the price for um, the kids' willfulness, hard-headedness, and disobedience. So, we're hoping everything works out for the best. Uh, I gotta go home, take my medicine that finally came in, and go see the doctor. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Lucia. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Lukey 
Bakuki. You forgot the last part. There's no. And part. ever. And ever. And any and many more. And many more. <laughs> and what? That, what? 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 That one, that did one. you make a wish? You, you need. You need to blow that out now. Hey, did you make a wish? All right, blow. <laughs> The wax kind of spilled all over here. Yeah, Good but thing it's, it's edible. edible. The missus has brought the kiddos to go watch a movie, which I'm not interested in seeing, so I'm taking the dongs on a little night stroll and maybe have a hot drink. Well, I'm dog sitting. Weather is in the upper 50s, which is pretty nice. Light jacket weather. River Key. City Market. And dogs. Something spooky going on in there. Okay. Hot drink time. Tea. And doggies. Pup pups. Jimmy, Stella. Jimmy. Spella. What's up, pups? Yeah. We're at the MTN Trunk or Treat. Hi, baby. Jimmy, what can Brown do for you? And Spella is the competitor, United Postal Service. Jimmy is United Poo Poo Service. Right, Jimmy? Some of the... <laughs> the trunks. <laughs> and we got the food trucks I am what I came as last year I'm going to try not to make my costume so realistic as I did last Halloween if you know what I mean and we got the rest of the crew Saya is a Boudica or a Boudicea or however you say it they say warrior and Luke is Harry Potter and it's the end, it's a flying squirrel. What is that? I saw him walk over there. You know what? Well, he's not eating much candy. It looks like you and Saya ran into the same cat. Back at Costco. Grocery shopping. And everybody's here. Luke's birthday dinner by his request. We're going over here to jazz because he wants to to dance again for the band. I hope that the band is playing and are receptive to that. Wouldn't want to disappoint. We're already getting warmed up here. Is there even a band? In jazz, a New Orleans kitchen. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> I'm gonna do this fast. Chicken Elmer. Po boy for the po boy. Stir fry. Salad. And gumbo. The beignets are in. I know I shouldn't have them, but I'll have a little bit. Beignets. birthday was yesterday, but I told him I celebrate my birthday for a whole week. So, we're just going to keep it going. <laughs> oh my. Oh, all right. All right. 
Classified. Mm. West 39th Street. Prospero's. Uh, the yesterday's eating what I ate didn't make didn't set with me very well this morning, so I stayed home for choice, but we're here at Little Saigon. I thought maybe it was, I was being a bit questionable when I said the name of this place is called Little Saigon, but it quite literally is called Little Saigon that says so on the sign right over there. They have a very big, impressive, I don't know, it can almost be used as a bandstand, looks like it. It's got ramps to it and everything. I wonder if there's any writing on the back here. I think there is on the front though. And you got the, uh, American flag, of course, and the flag for the Republic of South Vietnam, a country that doesn't exist anymore except in the hearts and minds of Vietnamese, South Vietnamese expats who live in the United States mostly. Even the bus here says Saigon Adult Daycare and Event Center. We're headed to Broken Rice, kind of a bastion of Vietnamese culture in the Northland in a strip mall. Oh, look about the place. This area we're in is huge. Huge. Coffee. I got spring rolls. That's all I need. Zach has pho. Ancien and Lucas are getting pho. And Saya has nothing. 
So we lied. Saya has a sandwich. And Ann and Luke are also sharing a sandwich. This is neat. Look at that, Zach. Really? Oh. Southwest Cedar Plate? Yeah. Airport's over there. We are back in Weston, Missouri. And this time I brought the fam. Although they left without me already because I was dicking around with the gadgets. And Weston is busy as always. And apparently a certain team is playing at the St. George. Yeah, that's their booty. Full service gas station, have they? Hmm. You missed out. There is a cat blocking our path. Mine. Right in our way. Hey, kitty. There's two hungry doggies coming your way. Mine. across the bridge. This is new. Pretty neat. Nice. There's the bar and the drunken sailor. Let's, let's see what's in the drunken sailor. It's Captain Luke going nowhere. It's Gilligan Saya. Saya has found a diddle bug. Where's Luke? Luke! Luke! Come sit in the diddle bug. Come sit in the diddle bug. Fasten your seat belts. All right, sit back, Luke. Okay. Say hee hee. Okay. Say hee hee. I love the old swinging doors. Nice. Yep, Luke. Is it London calling? Or are you calling London? That's an old Dodge. Pretty neat. Whoa. Luke has found another friend. The old river landing with a ghost. Our tree over here from last week has lost all its leaves. I think fall has peaked. We're here at the depot, and there's the town, pretty much empty now, that 
a certain team is playing, and I think most of the shops close at four. house. Oh, hi. That does smell good. Somebody taking a picture. <laughs> 